है माई लवलीज वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड डूइंग ग्रेट टूडे आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस इजी पिजी ग्लोई एंड ड्यूवी एवरीडे मेकअप लुक इट्स काइंड इन बिटवीन ऑफ अ ग्लोई ड्यूवी मेकअप लुक एंड अ नेचुरल नो मेकअप मेकअप लुक द मेन फोकस ऑफ दिस लुक इज दिस ब्यूटिफुल फ्रेश ड्यूवी लुकिंग स्किन एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सींग हाउ आई गॉट दिस लुक देन प्लीज कीप ऑन वॉचिंग Okay I'm going to start off with hydrating and moisturizing my skin and I'm going to use a very hydrating moisturizer because without hydration and moisturization your skin can never going to look like this I'm going to let it sink into my skin for a minute or two and then I will move on to the sunscreen Guys I just can't stress about enough of how important a sunscreen is on everyday basis if you are heading out specially and i really really like using this particular sunscreen because it doesn't give me white cast it's so lightweight on the skin it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't irritate my eyes it just feels like a moisturizer on your skin for my base makeup today i'll be using the dermaco 2% niacinamide hydrating bb cream it has 2% niacinamide that reduces acne acne marks and spots and it has 1% hyaluronic acid complex that's going to give you that necessary hydration that you need This has SPF of 30 and PA++. Also this is free from sulfate, paraben dye, mineral oil or any kind of fragrances. It comes with a beautiful tube packaging which is very easy to carry and travel friendly. I'm just going to start with dotting it all over my face and one thing I would like to mention here that last time I did a mistake of applying it too much on my skin and it was looking a bit whitish on camera. In person it was looking fine but start with a very small amount and then if you want you can build it up later. BB creams are like Make your skin but better only, and this has niacinamide, so it evens out your skin tone. It locks in moisture and keeps your skin hydrated. It reduces acne marks and spots, and it's very lightweight, non-greasy formula, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable. I have never seen any BB cream that has skincare benefits to it, so I'm really happy about it. And also, after applying it, I have noticed that it kind of plumps up my skin. Here I'm using a beauty blender to blend everything out. You can totally use your finger if you don't have any beauty blender. It's totally fine. One thing I would like to mention here that it's not waterproof or sweat proof. So if you're someone like me who sweats like a pig in summer, then just keep this thing in mind. I do have a coupon code with them. If you use that on their website, you will get extra 20% off. Every time you buy from Dermaco, they will link your order to a child that they're going to help educating along with Pumi and they have pledged to help 10,000 students across the year. I don't have any active acne right now, so I'm not going to use any concealer today, but if you have any active acne right now, you can just use a little bit of concealer just on top of that acne i have extremely extremely oily skin just to set the cream products in place i'm going to use a very small amount of loose powder you guys can see i'm just literally dusting it off because i don't want my base to look cakey i want it to look like my skin but better once that is done i'm going to take a compact powder and set the parameters of my face Now with the help of a brow pencil I'm just going to quickly fill in the gaps of my brows. I want them to look very nice and natural. I don't want them to look too stark or bold. And I prefer this particular pencil because it gives a very natural finish to my brows. Moving on to the lips and today I'll be using this non-sticky non-greasy lip gloss. First of all, I love the color and how beautiful it looks on my lips and secondly, I use a little bit of this on my cheeks as well and it looks so nice and natural. without irritating my skin if you have been following me for a while now you will know that i have extremely sensitive and acne prone skin so i cannot apply anything or everything on my cheeks so yeah i choose my cheek products very wisely and this is one of them also i'm going to apply a little bit on my nose on my eyelid just to get that flush of color Next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply one coat of mascara just to give it some lift. I have almost invisible lashes so I want them to look visible but very natural looking. And yeah, lastly I'm just going to dab some loose powder on top because I have applied a lot of cream products on my face today and I don't want them to smudge or burge as I have oily skin. I am so in love with the way my makeup has turned out today and look at my base how beautiful it looks so definitely let me know in the comment section below if you like this video or if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and yeah that's it for today's video i will see you soon in my next one bye